another Tablets Glass Emporium YouTube video. Today I want to show you a video using Jameson's fantastic stained glass window decals and also announce we are now a retailer. We're selling Jameson's decals for all of those of you in Europe. So here they are. There are now 10 designs. They are fantastic and brilliant. And you can buy a pack of 10. So you get each one of these different designs in a pack of 10 and you can buy them on our website now. The link will be on the screen now and at the bottom and we also wanted to show you how we made this fantastic little draped dish using one of Jameson's beautiful decals so today I'm going to show you how to make this so I've drawn a square on the, um, the uh, thin fire I've also made sure I'm using a Kilmore shelf because we're pressing I like to sort of do both um, just making sure it's bigger than the decal um, and then I'm going to sort of fill in the gaps around. I'm using some um, opaline. I love opaline, it's a really beautiful colour. Um, you need to get enough um, weight of glass that I make sure that the whole thing is going to press together. And then I've got some scrap um, aqua tint that I'm also going to add in. So I'm gonna build this up and then I'll show you how it looks before it goes in the kiln. So I put some um, um, open line down for it. I've then put some aqua blue tint scrap on top. I had some of our um, Tonka's Dream nuggets and um, some scrap marini and some scrap twisty cane and a few leaves. So I'm now gonna put this in the kiln. I'm gonna put this on top. Um, like so, and I'm actually going to add a bit more weight on top of that as well because it's not that heavy. I'm actually going to move it into the middle of the kiln shelf just because that will get them... Kilns can heat up differently at the sides than they do in the middle and I just want kind of a really even heating all the way around. So I'm going to get this in the kiln and we can see how it looks when it comes out. So here it is out of the kiln. Um, I'm just thinking about which side I want to go with. So now put the decorate the um, decal on. I'm going to go with this side. I just prefer it. I'm just going to trim the decal up a bit. Um, just to make sure it fits in the our water bath easily. And I need to take off the paper. Um, Jameson has some very good instructions on how to do this. So maybe his instructions are probably better than mine him being the pro, um, and then I'm just going to saturate it in the water bath. And basically I'm always using my thumb and forefinger just on the decal just to see when it starts to lift off the backing paper. So now it's coming off, I'm going to carefully slide it on to the glass behind. I want to sort of line it up with my points I kind of have here and now I want to get it really dry so we can do the writing. So now we're going to do some words on it. We're making this one for Miller and well for her to give her mum so she's going to put her daughter's and her husband's name on her and write with love. And we're using copper enamel, cobalt enamel, I mean. So we didn't want something kind of showing up so much, but just some nice faint words. And we'll just write the rest of the words on here now. So here it is, ready to go in the kiln. We're just going to um, fuse this to the recommended temperature of um, Jameson's decal. That should also do for the enamel, and we can have a look at it when it comes out. So guttingly, we've opened the kiln and a piece has broken off. This is fire that happened on the way up because the edge is smooth. So it then did attack fuse. Um, I did a slow ramp, but I don't think this piece of glass was very well annealed when it was originally pressed. So that's probably why. We're gonna trim it off and hopefully make it into something even with this issue. So I've now drawn lines around where I want to cut and I'm going to cut on the tile. So you won't need to do this because your pieces won't be broken. But unfortunately, as you know, mine is. So I'm just going to now trim the edges off. Here's the piece nicely trimmed off and we can get it ready to drape. 
To create the mould for draping over, I've cut two pieces of 6mm fibre paper to the shape of the decal, plus one piece of thin fire. The thin fire will go on first, face down, because we'll be firing this with the pattern on it downwards. And then the two pieces of 6mm go on top. So here is it set up in the kiln. As you can see, there's a piece of 1mm fibre paper at the bottom, then two pieces of 6mm fibre paper, and then there's a thin fire. And as I said before, we're firing it with the design face down, so it will be face up when we flip it after it's draped. So here it is out of the kiln. A draping, you never quite know how it's going to drape. Um, you know, Steve definitely gets a... Uh, uh, his name shows more than like Charlie's, but it's a fun little dish to give to Miller's mum, and I think it really sh um, showcases the decal, and it's beautiful. Um, I think it definitely, if we'd taken a bit more time, you could really make this into something special. It also didn't help that we had the break, and so we had to reshape the edge. Um, but I think it's a lovely idea, and you could do this with round decals or with the square ones that you can use the three six mil fiber paper to cut a shape to drape over so that you're sort of showcasing the decal in the bottom of the dish. You could also use a round one and um, just sort of almost have branches of a tree coming off and then drape it over and that could be really nice. In fact, we might try that later on this month as a lovely Christmas project. So there's lots of ideas to use with these, making them into dishes and draping them. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember, we now have Jameson's decals available to all of those of you in Europe. You can buy from us at tabithasglassemporium.com. We're selling them in a set of, um, of 10, and uh, we hope you enjoy them and can get them from us now, and we will see you next time.